special waiting for you. I hope you don't mind, but I made things a little more challenging. Hello, testing one, two, three. Do we have sound? Yes or no? Hello, so I do have my filter off. I cannot promise that you uh, won't hear my stomach growling, but I, I did try my best to not have sound issues. So hello, welcome to the stream. Someone pointed out that I made a mistake with the beginning plate. It says developer stream. Uh, this is a community stream. I did not have enough coffee when I made that template. Um, <laughs> but we might have a little bit of developer news, which I'll share in a little bit. Uh, but welcome to the stream. My name is Akshi. If you're new here, I'm a community manager for Fat Shark Games. I'm located in the East Coast United States. We originally had intended for a Hedge Gets Good stream, but Hedge is currently getting well. <laughs> he is at a last minute doctor's appointment. So it's just you and me today. I'm a little loud, that's new. That, that, that's a new thing, we can change it a little bit. And you might hear my candle as well. Uh, I have a candle, a very nice smelling candle in front of me that's burning. But hello, welcome to the community stream. We're gonna do a little bit of developer news and FAQ of some stuff that's upcoming. Um, we're going to talk to some community members about some events. Um, we're going to have a long awaited return for a mod of the moment. Uh, unfortunately, I could not uh, get bio in time for the voicing, so you're gonna be hearing my voice. And, and maybe we'll play a little bit of uh, Vermintide. Can you smell the candle? I don't think that technology is that advanced yet, but it's supposed to smell like um, kind of like this earthy, fresh scent, but honestly, it just smells like fresh laundry. So we're not going wrong with that, right? Flam, shh, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't ruin the moment. Get the stream smeller 9000. Get someone else from the office and do a get good to stream with them. So. Again, we are onboarding a third community manager, so we'll have that soon. Um, but again, I am <laughs> I'm in the United States, so getting people to, to play can be a little bit difficult, um, particularly since this stream actually collides with our uh, giant weekly all hands meeting. Um, I kind of get a pass on that. I leave like 30 minutes early to get this stream started. Um, Flem also knows the mod at the moment, it's true. All right, so we did have a tech test. People are asking how it went. I can say that it performed above our expectations. And will there be another test? So we have sat in meetings about other tests. There is a very, very high chance that other tests are coming. I'm not quite allowed to say the date yet, but there will be other chances to play if you did not get a key this turn. And I do have new hair today. Um, I know some people are not a fan of my colored hair, but it's for me and no one else, and it makes me happy. So, On a scale of 1 to 10, how glad are you to dodge an all-hands meeting? Honestly, I'm pretty pretty neutral. I enjoy all hands meetings just because I get to learn about the game 
and like what's upcoming. So it's not like a usual all hands meeting that you would see kind of in more of a corporate world where, you know, you have updates on the company that you just don't care about. It's, it's all about something that you care about. So I actually am kind of sad I had to miss this all hands meeting, but, uh, you know, I'm not like, yeah, I get to do a stream and I get to like skip the meeting. <laughs> Rocking the Sienna leather jacket. Yeah, I, I, I debated not wearing it this stream, but uh, I, I figured someone was going to be like, where's the jacket? So I brought the jacket out. Uh, a little updates for the Dark Tide Discord. Uh, we have new mods. Uh, we added maybe about six mods to the moderation team. If you see them, say hi. And we finished the first book club, and we finished Xenos. And for those of you who participated, you should have your Games Workshop gift card voucher in your email. If you missed the last one, this month's book club, we are reading the next installment in the Eisenhorn trilogy, which is Malleus. If you participate in the chat, like, constructively, you too can also get a Games Workshop gift card towards your next read. What are the chances of groups in the Vermintide Discord, like the book club? I'm not sure. I'd have to think about it. I'd have to think about it. All right, so let's get into some news here. So Gamescom. Gamescom is August 24th through 28th. We will be there in person. Uh, you will see some people from production. You will see some people from marketing. My boss will be there. So if you see him, say hi. Please say good things about me um, so they don't come up in my performance review. Oh, this community manager came up to me in Gamescom and said, you're a horrible person. Don't do that. <laughs> Make me look good. Um, so we will have a playable build, build there, excuse me. And I can't quite say what's being revealed, but keep an eye out on the opening night live on the 23rd, and you might see some things. That's all I'm going to say. Do you get a message when you get banned from future play tests for Dark Tide? Okay, so I'm going to explain this here. So. We have a separate build that we put out for tests, whether it's technical, whether there are own internal stuff. And for external tests that are closed, there is a key. So we gave keys. And then when we close that build, we turn off the back end. No one can log into it. We also revoke the keys because there's no sense in you still having the key in a game you can't get into, right? Steam, however, will give you a message that your key has been banned. So you have not been banned from the test. We just revoked your key. <laughs> Gamescom, I believe, is always in Germany. I want to make sure I am in the correct. Yep, Cologne. Yep, it's in Cologne, Germany. So <laughs> Steam's doing a little bit of trolling. Uh, maybe that messaging for them could be a little bit better. But again, if you said this key has been banned, we just revoked your key. Um, so you can uninstall the uh, client if you would like. You can keep it. It doesn't really matter too much. But you just can't really access the game, and the key's been revoked. But we haven't been like, this person's been a terrible person, so we're, we're banning you. No, that's not what happens. <laughs> All right, so let's get into a little bit of FAQ here and some things. Maybe I'm pushing the bounds of my NDA a little bit, but we're going to try to squeeze some information here as I can. Huh, I don't think I actually have the background music enabled. There we go. All right, so I mentioned this a little bit on the Steam forums. I'm going to clarify here. So people have been asking, what is going on with Vermintide, with Darktide? Will we be seeing stuff before, after? 
We have some smaller content drops and some larger content drops planned. Some of them are soon. What soon means, I don't think I'm allowed to say, but there's some, some things coming. Um, and I think you'll like them. Some of them are small things. Some of them are larger things. Um, there is a hot fix coming from console that will resolve some crashes and some login problems that you have been having. Um, I think that's coming in the next couple of weeks. Um, and Sienna. Let's talk about Sienna. Now, her release date that we had planned has been pushed back until we get Dark Tide out the door. I don't really have any problem saying that to you all and communicating that with you all. That does not mean she is not being released. I actually was just in a meeting about her last week. So, no, not even last week. Yesterday. I was in a meeting about her yesterday. So, she's... she's She's in the works. She's in the works and she's on the way. Let's see, what other questions can we answer about Vermintide today? People have asked when we're going to do a little bit of re-optimization and remasters because our game has been getting quite large. It has been spoken about. It's on the punch list to do. Um, I don't have a date from when that is yet, but we are aware that the game is getting quite heavy <laughs> so there are there are some talks about re-optimizing it so it takes a little less space how were people picked for the technical test so i realized that some people were upset because we had not taken vermintide hours into account and i'll tell you part of there's two reasons for that one is the sheer manpower to go into everyone's steam profile and see if they had vermintide hours so we had thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people registering. And there's just no feasible way for us to look at every single person who signed up and see if they have all these verm hours without it being like someone's full-time job. Secondly, and the main reason, is that this was a technical test. So the amount of hours you had at verm, or how good you are at verm, or how good you are even at dark tide, it was really irrelevant. We looked at your technical specifications. We looked at where you were located. So we chose a variety of hardware and we chose a variety of regions. And the reason that the amount of vermintide hours you had didn't really matter for this test is we basically wanted to see how many people we could push into our servers before they broke. We wanted to see if people could successfully matchmake. We wanted to see if people could successfully stay online. We wanted to see if people could successfully reconnect. We wanted to see if they had a stable experience based on their hardware. It was a stress test. Exactly, exactly. So, maybe in future tests, when we're looking at other things, we may take Vermintide hours into account. But this one, we did not. Um, and that that's really why... We did not look at Vermintide hours. We looked at region and we looked at hardware. That's how we selected people. So once we narrowed down who the region on hardware, it was kind of just RNG whether you got a key or not. When will the next testing be? I don't think I'm allowed to answer that. Again, 99% sure that we will have another test unless something goes terribly wrong but I don't think I'm allowed to say when that is. I, again, I've got assassin rats behind me making sure that I don't leak. Like, you guys remember the spreadsheet, right? Those assassins had a talk with me afterwards. It wasn't pretty. People asked about the crafting blog. Hedge answered this in their Discord. The crafting blog will come back when it's ready. So... It was actually slated to be released, um, and we had it like lined up in an automated queue. And uh, <laughs> the person who um, manages that was on vacation, and the direction of how we changed crafting changed a little bit, so it was no longer accurate. So that's why that blog got pulled. Do you have a link to the Discord? 
Which Discord? Eremitide or Darktide? I don't think we have a Discord command. Did anything unexpected come out of the Darktide test? I don't know if I'm allowed to give specifics, but I can tell you we were surprised because it far and away blew over, you know, the expectations we had. You know, we set a certain goal for how many players can we handle at once, and we blew that out of the water. You do not need to register again if you want to play register for another test. Um, we have your, your information, you're in the spreadsheet, you still have the opportunity for another test. If you, something has changed on your end, like maybe you upgraded your hardware, maybe, you, I don't know why you would, but maybe something happened, you downgrade it, maybe now you play on console. Um, just message me with the email that you registered with and the changes and I can fill that in. You will get the fourth class for Sienna when she's ready. So let me get you this Dark Tide link. Give me one second. There you go. All right. So let us go into Onslaught series. Now, hopefully this music isn't too loud, but the Onslaught series is back. I know it's been a little bit of time because they've been planning something larger. They have been doing, oh no, you can't hear, you can't hear me or you can't hear the music. That better? Yeah, it, it takes a while to warm up. There you go. I think that's as loud as I'm going to make it. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, a little too loud. But let's let's just try. Okay, there we go. Hmm, is this an exclusive cosmetic for PC? It might be. But let me see whether I can maybe pull some strings for console people. I have to check in on that. But yes, you can get the Crown of Purity again in relation to this event. And with me to explain this event, I have Havoc, one of the tourney organizers. So let's give him a call and get him on the line, shall we? Hello. Oh, one second. Alrighty. Say something, Havoc. Hello. Can you all hear him? Does he sound okay? We don't sound okay, it's just my natural voice. OBS Can't says, yeah, that. everyone can see. Everyone can hear you. Perfect. Wow, sounds perfect. We never get that. This see, you're bringing good luck to the stream, Havoc. I'm just such a good luck charm, it seems. All right, so this is Havoc. He is one of the organizers for the Onslaught series tournaments and events. Um, I remember the first tournament he played in. He was a little baby Dwanzer. Um That's not true. I was always a big boy. You, 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 you were already a Vermintide pro coming out of the womb. Yes, we know. Yes. We know. All right, so... I came so, out. So, so, so give us a little introduction about yourself. Who are you and what do you do for the Onslaught series? Well, like Excellent just said, I have always been a Vermintide pro, obviously. No. Um, I play this game too much. Uh, and sometimes around 2020 I started playing this game, 21, something like this. And after like 600 hours I dropped into modded and have not stopped playing modded since then. And then I somehow ended up in the Onslaught series tournament stuff and have been organizing events uh, such as the tournament or this time's charity tournament or mostly my baby is the Captain series that we already had on stream as well, I think, previously, before. All right, so what is special about this series? So, um, in general, 
the the format in itself, like the tournament, is not new. That has been a staple part of the, the community, what we've been organizing for the past few years. Um, but this time around, we thought we might spice it up a bit um, and do something good, let's say it like this, for the general uh, society we live in. And we decided to do um, a charity tournament where we collect or hope we get donations and then we collect all of those donations and then donate it to a, uh, a charity organization. And, and what charity is being donated to? Um, we are gonna, we, we chose, we carefully uh, reviewed and chose uh, a charity organization that we thought would be the most uh, fitting one, uh, considering that we have a lot of animals in this game and we kind of hurt them all the time, um, even though, yeah. So we chose the International Fund for Animal Welfare um, and we will be giving them our donation. Okay, so how can people donate? And what is uh, this about the hat? <laughs> um, so people can donate uh, and the, over the, the PayPal link they find in our Discord. Uh, it runs over Ishka's uh, PayPal. I think I can even link it if you do not mind. Uh, yeah, give it a shot. I don't know if the Twitch filter is going to be like, no, that's a PayPal link, get out of here, but yeah, it, yes. it censored it. We'll, we'll put it in a Steam post and figure out a way to make this. All right. Work, but yeah. So, yeah, um, so over this link that you can find in it in the Onslaught community Discord, uh, well, if that does, doesn't work, I'm just going to do an invite for people, I guess, if they care about that one. Ah, very good. Um, so. And the hat thing, like the very observant people might have noticed, um, I think the crown of purity got introduced with COVID and was made as an exclusive um, hat for Saltspire. And Fatshark was grateful enough to help us in our, co in our uh, undertaking of donating to charity and decided to sponsor uh, the exclusive hat for everybody that plays in the tournament, so all participants get uh, the, the exclusive hat, and everybody that donates a minimum amount of five euros or dollars or anything that is equal to that amount. Um, and if you do to donate via the PayPal link that got censored, um, you just have to include your Steam ID and maybe the name that you want to be known as donation, else it, you, you will be later on, after everything has concluded, there will be a public list um, where everything is uh, seeable and that we have transparency there. Uh, you will be listed as anonymous or just with the name you donated at the amount. So yeah, you donate and you get ahead, basically. Or you play and you get ahead. And uh, just, just so you all know, I know if you're on console, uh, you guys might not have a Steam ID. So if you don't have a Vermintide 2 account on Steam and you are PlayStation or Xbox, um, note that in your donation. And then the tourney organizers give me the list of, of just the names. Um, and I will make magic happen so that shows up in your account. Um, so. When does this event run? Well, it runs uh, in two weekends, actually, this time. Previously, before, we only had one big weekend where we had uh, community streams and shoutcasting and streams of the various teams that uh, were running in, the, in, the, in their dif uh, respective dif uh, difficulties. But this time around, we have uh, increased the tiers that are being run to four of them. So we decided to extend the whole event to two weeks, and aka two weekends. So the first weekend is going to be on the 3rd and the 4th of uh, September. And the second weekend is going to be a week, week after, so on the 10th and the 11th of September. Uh, the respective times are um, can be found in the Discord. So it's but more like evening, late-ish. Uh, 
afternoon, latish evening. Eh? For some Europe. The background yeah, disappeared. Give me one minute, Havoc. Oh no. Okay, now it's working. OBS had a little, a little fit for a moment. Um, sorry about that. So I know you guys have changed a little bit of the format. What happened there? So um, I'm gonna go a bit further back for that one. Um, originally we had. C1, so Cataclysm 1, Cataclysm 3 are the main difficulties basically, and then once plus, so Onslaught plus, and then Dutch Spice um, as difficulties. Um, but since we were overworked in some regards, and we introduced Dutch Spice last tournament as the highest difficulty, we had to find a compromise uh, on what to cut out so we have enough. We don't overwork our casters and our uh, tourney staff with the organizing. So we decided to take out C1 last tournament. But after receiving a lot of feedback um, that it is a missed difficulty, we brought it back um, for this tournament. Um, and we decided to create a sub-committee, uh, basically assistants that are running the first tournament. So we don't, uh, we can focus solely on on weekend two, like uh, the, the usual stuff, and they take over weekend one. So um, we kind of decided to extend it, and every single tier now gets its own day for shoutcasting and streaming. So there's no more confusion. Well, viewers watch what what difficulty is being streamed, what teams are playing, and so we thought that might be the most natural and uh, best solution for that one. And finally, what is some advice you'd give some people who are playing this for the first time? Modern difficulties are, um, well, don't be discouraged if you lose. Losing is the most fun part. Um, it's getting better. That is the biggest incentive. If you are diving straight from official into modern difficulties, you might feel overwhelmed. Or you feel like, oh my god, I'm not good enough or something like this. But in the end, uh, it's just about getting better yourself and having fun while doing so. So just try having fun and try setting goals for yourself that you can reach. All right. Thank you so much, Havoc. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you, and I will see you during the tournament. Yes, goodbye. Bye. And maybe, if we're lucky, I can gather the Fat Shark marketing team to participate in it. I'm gonna have to do some convincing, but I'm gonna try. So if you're interested, again, in signing up, or donating, and getting a hat, you can sign up on the Discord. And there will also be a uh, Steam and Twitter posts as well with all the details uh, coming like this, the end of the day today. All you heard was get good. I mean, I'm not saying that's not not true. You can donate from now until September 12th. So as long as you donate, or register and show up between that time span, you'll get your hat. Okay, I've done recruit Dwan's spicy. And uh, it was an experience. It was an experience. All right, so let's get into the mod of the moment. Thank you. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm gonna say the name of the fucking dog! It is a fucking joke, it is a fucking joke. <laughs> I'm so sorry, this is hilarious. Working. Are you having a rough day? If you are, it's alright to share in your pain with this new mod, Life's Hard Everywhere by Prismism. This outputs your death to the modded Discord's chat, which you can see here. 
so everyone can delight, <clears throat> I mean sympathize, with your in-game mishap. It's alright, we can just blame that Mahler overhead on Ping, it's fine, we know you play on host, but Ping, right? Fancy yourself a jaunt through the maps to witness the carnage? Each death, with the option enabled, leaves a Darkstall style bloodstain, so you too can marvel just how often teams die at the beginning of Screaming Bell. <coughs> Modded players, am I right? So share your pain today and remember, life's hard everywhere. And this is actually a screenshot that Prism has taken for me of the uh, very favorite place of everyone dying and screaming bell. Let me make sure that I can move over so you guys can get a little bit of a better look. Life's hard everywhere. <laughs> you can just look at this image and you can tell what's happened. There was, um, I know Cooley's team has been grinding hunger and that little area with the cart and hunger is just a mess of blood. Havoc said that too, it looks like a Jackson Pollock painting. I wouldn't say there's Dark Stool style messages, but if you turn the option on, you can indeed get an insult, such as, did you wipe estimated number of brain cells? Three. I personally do not have this modded, uh, this mod enabled to save my ego because I would probably just take up the entire Discord channel dying from monks. But if you are brave enough, you can have it insult you and let everyone know that you uh, died. And where. It also has emotes at you. If you chose to insult you, it'll have like, lol emotes. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We have about an hour of game time, let's do some games. But before that, let's do some giveaways. Um, let's do a giveaway for the hat that's going to be in the charity. This is going to be, again, the Crown of Purity. I'm sure uh, production is going to be like, you did, you did what? You did what? But let's, let's, let, let, let's do it anyway. Alrighty, let me open up the giveaways. Let's make this a question first. What class and character am I the worst at? That is a problem for future Akshi. And let me make sure I have a pen. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Ah! No bull got it. Ironbreaker Barden. Ironbreaker Barden. Please don't ask how, but I am. How can I be bad at Ironbreaker? I'm just that bad. <laughs> I'm just that bad. All right, um, next question. I'm gonna give away three of these and then one of them is gonna be a random drawing. Let's see. Some of you might know this. So I work on European time zone. What time do I get up in the morning to get ready for work? Don't see it yet. Ah, solitude of Astoria. I got it. 3 a.m. Solitaire, excuse me, solitaire. Let's 
Solitaire Vastora. Wow, I butchered that name. All right, and now we are going to do a random, <laughs> a random drawing. So let's see what the keyword is going to be. The keyword is going to be I really want it. Hashtag I really want it. Alright, rolling. Private Eye Zero. Private Eye Zero. Alrighty. Nice. I spelled zump Stumpy Zar wrong. Alright. So, oh, by the way, I think if Pris Prism has set it up this way. But if you have this mod enabled during the tournament, it will output it into the chat in gold, so it really stands out. All right, so let us get some games in. And I will let you all decide what I play and what mode I'm going to play. So while I get that set up, give me some suggestions. You can also use your points to like overrule some of it. good at it right here right now <laughs> I don't know if I want a true solo on a stream I don't know how other community members might feel about that because it's kind of robbing them chance if they want to play I don't know if people want to play but I'm just saying do you guys know where the mean godbreaker comes from All right, so when Vermintide 2 released on PlayStation, a PlayStation player named Kitty the Pet released a video for Sneaky Pantry Review called The Godbreaker. And that's how it came. And I think it was specifically a shield barden. It did not come from Core, predates Core. Alrighty, let us open this up. Is it a shield? Yeah. I think it's changed a little bit. I think it was, maybe it was an axe. I know it involved a drake gun, but it might have also been a shield. Axe and shield with drake gun. Alrighty, let's open this up. I mean, I don't know why you're apologizing. <laughs> I don't play Godbreaker. I don't know. We might. I can ask. You'd have to hand someone your Steam. Um, your Steam ID, just because Steam has been doing weird things and the codes we give out for them do not work. So you'd have to give them, like, uh, your specific Steam name. I don't know, let me ask. Let me ask my boss. I don't see why we would say no. Alrighty, commands. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Steam profile so you all can add me if you would like so we can play. Let's see, game capture, filters, nope, properties, alrighty, boom. All right, let's get the show on the road. Let me move this candle. Aside from the hours, how's it working for Fat Shark and killing rats for a living? Honestly, my vermintide hours have gone down because I'm so busy working on the game. I don't get the chance to play as much. Um, okay, cool. Alrighty. Do we do some maps? Or do we do chaos wastes? Maps? Wastes, maps, action shield, drake gun, bellicor true solo, that ain't happening. Um, do I even have an action shield? I do have an action shield, I just haven't bothered upgrading it. Let's do that, and you all can see the, the, dev, uh, <laughs> the dev privileges that QA gives us. I'm not going to have you guys do a reroll, to be honest. Um, whoops, that's crafting. Yeah, I have some... Uh... Let's see what I have in Drake Gun here. I'm not really too, too worried about it, but we'll see. I have not played, like, a flamethrower weapon in quite a while. Alrighty. Let's do it. Oh, wait, wait. Would people be allowed to join if I do that? We'll see what happens. Okay. Do I have a red drake gun? I sure do. Game has no audio. There you go. Mm, I think our little Hub is AFK. Wait till Chicken Hunt joins, and if he's not back, we're gonna have to start without him. Back between Sigma Thinbeard and Kurgan the Mighty. Thinbeard. Thinbeard. Nice lad, Sigma. Or so our stories tell. They're lacking a certain physical gravitas. Still, history is written by the man who pays the skulls, eh?
And again, disclaimer. I make faces when I play. If you are new here, we're going to clip it and meme it. I'll own it. I just get really laser focused. Chad loves helping out with the votes. Yep. But these companions, Kruber will serve well enough. But the witch, the dwarf, the elf, ugh, trying times lie ahead, I deem. I think we might be stuck with bots because I don't think people can join Twitch. We'll have to see. Oh, hold on. I see I have an invite here. Except, there we go. Let's do it. To the Horde of Magnus, then! Head for the tower! Be wary! There are hungry voices all around us. Ah, you're not scared of a few Sagaraki, are you? Alright, let's see how this goes. Here. Chaos Warriors! Oh my gosh, this feels bad. This feels bad. people where I have to have hundreds of hours before I actually like make sense of a weapon. Told you I'm bad at Iron Breaker. <laughs> He's just so short! Like shields either, it's true. I don't like shields, I don't just like pushing and heavy attacking. Actually, I should maybe the end or something, but we'll see.
Just like a boss. I feel like such a noob playing this, I hate it. I hate this. I hate this weapon combo. I hate this character. <laughs> Hey, no overhead. Uh oh. Someone's running in place. Opry wants to have a word with me? Is he could say it to my way? face. <laughs> Who knows? Certainly not you lot. Take a look anyway. Danger wins one eye. The soul is willing, but the flesh requires binding. And the bodies. Show respect. Stream <laughs> ah. 
I'm so bad at Ironbreaker. I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, my heart. Not bad for a community manager. Oof. Oh, my ego. Maeve just completely destroyed my ego in one fell swoop. Okay, let's do a different loadout because this flamethrower is killing me. Two-handed hammer. Ew, it has opportunist. Let's let's change that. I don't know about troll hammer headshots. I mean, I'm pretty bad at barding all around, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. Raining cats and dogs, eh? To go along with rat. Okay, but now I'm gonna have to like play Godbreaker build in my free time, see if I can get better at it. That's pitiful. It's pitiful. <laughs> As I said earlier in the stream, I have had meetings about Sienna's career, so she's coming. But the specimens being okay, I have to explain why I don't like Barden short. So Barden was the last character I ever leveled on, meaning I was used to the headshot line being different, and I still am, and I don't like looking up to do headshots. Risk cold. Ah, that takes me back. Ah, joy, a deep, dark pool. And it will find I played him in the tournament, like last week, and I wasn't cold. too bad on the first two maps, but uh, definitely okay. not my favorite. Always down. Where now? Huh. We could always follow the rails. <laughs> I'm also really bad at troll hammer headshots. Way too early. I'm doing like off host ping here. Gas rat! 
Nice. Buy another potion. Oh, and I'm not dodging poorly because of the height. I'm dodging poorly because I'm normally used to playing on um, 150 ping. Sigma has guided us to healer's tools. I didn't even hear him. I mean, no surprise, but... Actually, I might not even be in a good build because I was playing a rebalance last time.
Oh, there we go. I'm really bad at headshotting on this. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm in so much pain playing this character. This troll is here. There he is. Um. Okay. Okay. Sir? I'm not sure whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> okay, I gotta get off Ironbreaker. I'm so bad at this. Broken connection. No. Okay, I'm gonna play something slightly different. Um. And I, 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 I would rather play Footnite than an Ironbreaker. <laughs> really don't like playing Ironbreaker. This stream is gonna come back and haunt me anytime I say that, oh, I'm good at the game. People are gonna remind me that this stream is here. My connection is not okay. It's never okay. I've always found the killing easier in the sunshine. How about you? Like, I wasn't lying when I said my iron brick is really bad. <laughs> I have no shame to admit that. his supplies and burying his dreams of power, the rock blood champion is more than eager to socialize. He's sending out the plan is every day's plan. Don't die. For us, and his sorcerers plead to their foul god to reveal our location. These efforts have left his camp a tad bit empty, so I suggest we grab the opportunity to pay him a visit before he and his army shows up at our door. Don't let it worry you, darling. I'll just talk to everyone in the camp. Alright, another day at work, folks. Whoops. bless this shot, Black Flash! Come here!
I am so sorry for the unchain I grew up. I did miss you enable the Twitch mode, yep. I don't know why you all think I would like lie about making faces. If I didn't mention it, people would be like, haha, you're making faces. Of course I do. Oops, I missed. Gamer zone? Total gamer. Total gamer. Total gamer faces. That's a big brain move. That's a, no, that's not a ritual. Have I played Dark Tide a lot with the tech test? I have played a total of five hours. Honestly, I have not been gaming much. I literally maybe just play Animal Crossing right now. What is this hook doing up there? More or less, it's just different. Like a uh, blight stormer is a distance enemy, right? A ranged enemy. It's it, it's just different. So, you know, sometimes it's nice just to relax and play Animal Crossing and customize my island. Ammunition here. Good 
Axel Runner! The backstabber is slain! You hear that life, Big Story? I don't think we were really using ahead. redeems we for that much. Cleansing. It might be before my time. Healing draft. Watch for the Getting Tim to appear is, is tough. It's a tough task. Not because he doesn't want to, because he's super busy. Yes. 
assassin meets a deserving death. Yeah, Yeah, that 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 was a a really really smart move by the leech. I will be in Sweden, and maybe we can get a dev to talk Dark Tide. You tell me what team you want to talk to, and I'll see if I can make it happen. Well, there's a bunch of programmers. What, what, what area of programming? in the service of Hennessy. Southlander weaklings, face me in the arena. I'll take you all on by myself. I mean, we have a Dark Tide teams and Vermintide teams. We also have HR and marketing and IT. Oh, that's obnoxious. Someone's strolling over Mike. Oh, 
I mean, there's an easy solve for it. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't gonna ban it from the chat. I said if I really wanted to, I could just turn my uh, voice chat off. <laughs> At first, I was like, "What is wrong with my sound?" And then, I, then I realized it. What would be the most outlandish team to get on stream? I don't know if any of them would be outlandish. Alrighty. That is it for today's stream. I will see you all in two weeks from Sweden. Um, and I will never touch Ironbreaker again after this. <laughs> all right. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in two weeks. Take it easy.